Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. In this video we're going to have a look at this Netgear 8 port managed switch, a gigabit ethernet switch. Now, you might think, why do I need a switch? Well, that's the kind of thing I was thinking really. I've got a Sky router, it's got four ethernet ports on it so I can plug things into it. But what I've found since I've started doing the smart home project is everything needs a bridge already with an ethernet connection. So I've got my Sonos and it has a little bridge that you plug into the Sky router and I've got the Hue Light controller that you plug into Sky Router and the Hive controller that you plug into Sky Router and so on. So I've ended up using all my ports up on the Sky Router and uh, think of the same if you've got any, any uh, routers supplied to you by your broadband supplier, you might only have one plug in and you want to plug something else in. So that's where this comes in. So very simple, you plug that cable, the cable into there from your router and then these ports are available for plugging things in like an Xbox, Playstation, bridges for other devices and so on. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'll just quickly unbox it and um, plug it in and I'll just have a look at some of the features of it. So clearly the box, you get the CD and installation instructions, not sure anybody really uses those anymore. And here is the switch. So there's the switch itself, it's got a nice metal construction to it so it feels very solid. So we've got the 8 ports on the front, uh, Kensington lock, power and then other, those other uh, slots for mounting it on the wall. So that's it really, it's really well made, very nice and solid. So I'll plug it all in and then we'll have a look at the uh, web management interface. So there's everything plugged in. So now I've got it connected up and um, got to the management interface via its IP address. I used a little tool called uh, Thing on Android which can find the IP addresses. It's quite handy if you ever have that. Or there's a network scanner for Windows that's handy as well. So here's the uh, web interface. I managed to use uh, I used a little tool called Thing for Android which scans the network for IP addresses. Or there's a Windows one available as well. Um, so this shows me all the the uh, mode it's in, so it's in DHCP mode and um, actually I don't necessarily need that, I'm quite happy for the devices to get the IP from the Sky router so I could turn that off, I'm going to leave it on actually for now and we'll see if it makes a difference so you can have a look at the port status on there so um, these are devices I've got plugged into my uh, switch so it, they include the uh, Sonos bridge, the Hue light bridge, the Hive control bridge and um, uh, power line networking port so you can see these have got um, these are on there and detected. Uh, I can set up some security on the switch which seems a good idea, I can do a reboot and I can do firmware updates, this probably is a firmware update actually usually for these things but I'll check that later. In terms of monitoring I can look at the traffic going through the ports which is good. I can even do a cable tester I can set up a VLAN, so that means I can basically isolate devices uh, from each other, but they still can communicate over the over the switch. So that could mean I could have a separate um, area or separate port just for home automation devices, smart home control, and so forth. So I could have them, so they can all talk to each other. They can get out of the internet, but say somebody that has a laptop on the Wi-Fi can't do that. So VLANs are good for setting up. Um, isolation and security and this supports this and some of the um, other devices available same price don't support that. I should mention the price as well this is $24.99 on Amazon so it's not talking a super expensive device but um, it has got this managed interface which many of them don't have actually. So you can set up quality of service mode that means that things like uh, Skype calls or video calls uh, streaming they get priority over other traffic uh, which is very handy. And you can even throttle uh, devices. So if you've got something that uh, is, a, you know, a very tra heavy on the network traffic, you can actually limit this, the control of that, or limit the what it can do. So it does make it very handy to manage your network, which is something you can't do with a you know, managed hub. So it's got uh, other vision lifetime warranty. Um, all the ports are gigabit Ethernet, I should say, as well. So all in all, it's a really um, handy device to have to control your network, but most of all, really, it's simple. I've just plugged this in, 
and that's it you know I, I plugged it all my hubs into it and it's working I don't have to touch this management interface at all I can just plug it in and go and that's probably the main strength of this just plug it in and go but for people that want the extra control then um, this is exactly what you want so yeah it's simple you can do what you want with it but you can also lock it down as well and uh, you can see what's going on in your network you've got some control over it you've got quality con uh, uh, service and um, yeah very simple to use that's the Netgear ProSafe 8 port gigabit Ethernet switch it's the model GS108E $24.99 simple to use plug it in and go and uh, a really handy thing to have for your network